Good Lady. morning, praise God. This is Pastor Jones. How am I help you? Hello, Pastor Jones. I'm looking for a Tiberius Jones. Is he available um, by chance? That would be me or my government name. Who might I ask his caller? Hi, Mr. Jones. My name is Yelena Pastor, Hastings. Pastor Jones, please. I apologize, sir. My oh, name Reverend is... Reverend Doctor, if you, if you just insist. <laughs> Oh, okay, very well. Pastor Jones, my name is Yelena Hastings. I'm calling from my firm located in New York City regarding yes. Sir Logan's Wellington. Sister uh, Hastings, wow, I know you. How are you, Sister Hastings? I'm doing well, Pastor Jones. Um, where do you know me from? Oh, we've had some dealings. You know, you, you, you've, been, you've been dealing with... Uh, my friend Brogan for a while, and some of your other clients are, are uh, constituents of mine, shall we say. Very well. Okay, that's great, because this will actually make the conversation a lot smoother. I'm calling because, as you know, Sir Brogan passed um, recently. Yes, yes. Sad, 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 sad. Indeed. Hard for family. Indeed. Well, well, Pastor Jones... A lot of people do not realize, but, but Sir Wellington actually left a new will before his passing. Yes, I, I know the will that I have, yes. And I know that, that he and I talked about that rather, rather in depth, the one that I have. Yes, sir. I, I believe I heard that he had done one previously, but he came into the office a few weeks before his passing and did a final will. You, you don't say. Yes. I don't believe they're the same. Well, maybe we should compare notes. What I have a copy of the one he left for me. Excellent. It is oh, you five, could, five weeks ago. Okay, you could definitely send that to me. However, I will not be relinquishing any information until I have everyone together. Oh uh, well, that that's that's not what that's not what Brother Wellington instructed me to do. I I, I appreciate your position, but. I have my instructions from my very good friend. You know, we, we were in Selma together at the Edmund Pettus Bridge way back in the day. So we've known each other for 40 years. So I, I, I'm pretty confident, uh, Sister, Sister, Sister Hastings, that um, I have his wishes well in hand. Well, that is truly a blessing to have such a long friendship. However, I also have my directions, and my directions are to read the will when everyone is together. <coughs> so you will all find out at one time. You, you know, the family is under a tremendous amount of strain. We, we, don't, we don't want to increase their uh, strain. There, there are factions working in the family. We should probably not spring things on everybody from... Um, from the mother all the way through the children are expecting me to be the, the reader of the will and to have these things all worked out for them. And, and we don't want to increase the stress of this family. You know, there's a lot of things at stake, uh, Sister Hastings. So, so let's not interrupt and, and, and let's not rock the boat, baby. You know what I mean? Let's not rock the boat. Yes, I do know what you mean. But as I mentioned earlier, these are my directions and Regardless of the family's current pain, which I know is severe, we have to do things the correct way. So I'm going to be calling everyone individually to let them know about the final reading of the will. Sister Hastings, I don't know if you are a woman of faith, but if you are, you I know am. what the good book says, all things should be done in decency and in order. And so, but by calling each individual member, you will probably cause more chaos than order. So, and since I have been the designated person to help bring order to chaos, it might be well if you were to visit with me prior to introducing all this to the family so we so I provide the proper shepherding care and uh, for the family and spiritual guidance as was the wishes of our dear departed brother. Yeah, Pastor Jones, I... 
I completely agree with what you're saying regarding not wanting to get the family and wanting to prepare them, which is why I will still call them to inform them of the situation. But I am more than happy to allow you to peruse over, over the documents prior to meeting with everyone as a group. Well, that would be great. How, how soon uh, can we have that look see? Uh, so, you know, I, I can be in New York in no time. My private jet can take off and I can be there any time. So <laughs> how soon can we get together? No, together, I will give it to you to peruse the morning of the reading. If we're trying to be decent and in order, that will cause all kinds of problems. I, Sister Hayes, I, I'm sure there's something that we can do. I'm sure that as an upstanding citizen of the bar and a loyal servant of God, that two of us can get together and work something out. And these two reasons you mentioned are exactly why you will receive it the morning of and not before. Because I am um, quite an upstanding citizen of the bar and a person of God. So, and, 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 and I respect Pastor, that. Pastor yeah. Jones, can I ask you why you're so interested in reading the will ahead of time? Absolutely, ma'am. Absolutely. Because I have pastored this family now for almost 40 years. I, mm -hmm. I have personal relationship with everybody involved. And I, I understand each and every member of this family's anguish and what's going on. And I also... You know, being prophetic that I am, I, I, I see the train wreck happening before it happens because of how everybody is is positioning themselves. So it would only it would only be right to help avoid further turmoil for, for their mother, for themselves, and you know, for, for the community. And 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 incidentally, and you know the sister Hastings, this is a this is an international conglomerate and if there's any type of drama then that family stand to lose a lot a lot of money and resources because of uncertainty and certainly you don't want to compound the grief of death with losing with what their father worked for all of his life to leave to them because we did not think ahead of time on how to mitigate the the, the residuals and a fallout of surprise. I, 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 well, I would be less than uh, Pastor, honorable if I, if I didn't mention that. Pastor, you do realize that regardless of when you read the will, the information within it would not change. Yes, yes. but it also, but you know, you've heard the saying in a way that forewarned is forearmed, that it, because I have a responsibility yes. to minister to this family, I shouldn't be surprised by what's in it because I have to pre have to prepare a plan to minister and soothe the heart hurt feelings and bring this family back together because it's so fractured right now. So if well, you're unfortunately, you're Pastor, unfortunately, you're going to have to mend the family quickly if that's the case, because I cannot, in good faith and good conscience, give it to you prior. Well, I. I have been told, and I don't know this to be the case, sister, but I've been told by a couple of your clients that uh, you may be receptive to some, some personal conversations outside of office hours to discuss things that may be a mutual benefit to everybody involved. And, and, and I, I certainly hope that that's a true statement because I think it there, there's a benefit. True. I think there's a benefit to both of us by working together and not, not opposed to make sure the family gets everything it's supposed to have and everybody else gets what they're supposed to have and in a, in a way that will not fracture the family deeper or, um, or fracture their business. And, and I'm sure that, that uh, you're not in this for the money and I understand that and I appreciate it because your, your reputation is beyond reproach. But I'm sure there's some things that we can do to help uh, facilitate a smoother transition. And maybe we, it's not doing it Maybe I, I can give you my personal cell phone number, you can call me or you can come down and we can have a conversation maybe over lunch or, or even dinner. Mm, Pastor Hastings, I would truly enjoy a chance Pastor to meet Hastings, you. I like that. 
You, you call, call, uh, it, call it, name it, claim it. I yes, apologize. I, it's been a long work day. I know it's early where you are, but it's been quite, quite draining on me today. Um, Pastor Jones, I would love to meet with you very soon. And yes. we would discuss, and we would discuss the possibilities of how we can blend the, and heal the family in order to make this reading go well. Yeah, so just let me know. I can get on a plane. I can be there. It takes about two hours from the time you tell me to the time I can show up at the door. Or I can send the car for you and have, have the car bring you to where I will be at. And then we can, we can meet at the country club or we can meet at the golf club or we, we can meet where you want to meet at. Very well. I'll let you know what I decide. Well, I so look forward, sister, to having this, this conversation with you. But we all know that all things work for the good of those who love the law. Yes, indeed. Okay, Pastor. I, amen, sister. We'll talk to you soon. God bless you. Yes, we will. And I look Thank forward. You. And may heaven smile upon you. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you. You have a splendid day. Amen. Hi, is this Kata? Kata Wellington? Yes, Max is calling. This is Lillianne Davenport. How are you? I'm great, Lily. How are you? It's Lillianne, dear, not Lily. Mm, Lillianne. No problem. How are Thank you? Thank you so much. I'm very well. Uh, I'm calling, actually, to uh, uh, kind of give you a little background on some things that uh, the Davenport uh, company is doing that we'd like for the Wellingtons to become involved with. Hmm. Have you heard of the Davenports? Yes, I have. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought you may have. Uh, I'm actually very familiar with your mom, Lady C, a lovely lady, um, someone that's highly respected and regarded in all fronts, and uh, that is as well for me as well. Uh, I'm also very familiar with your dad. May he rest in peace. Thank you. Um, he actually was a great uh, businessman, and I'm sure you know that. Of course. Yes. As a great businessman, um, he had a lot of, um, I'll say, integrity when it came to his business, but maybe not in some other things, but he was definitely had a lot of integrity with his business, but he lacked vision. Um, and, quick question. Lily yeah. and Davenport, that's correct? Yes, yes okay. correct. Uh, could you get to the point? I'm trying to figure out what is it that you're asking. Well, I'm actually not asking for anything. I'm trying to provide some information to you. Mm -hmm. um, I think as uh, young entrepreneurs and business people, and I'm assuming that you are a part of the Wellington Empire? Of course. You work for, okay. So what I would like to do is propose um, that we kind of take a look at where we could go in the future. So oh. there's some things that I have been doing uh, for the Davenport uh, portfolio. And that involves some real estate purchases and building that empire. And I think the Wellingtons would benefit from that. Okay. In what capacity? Uh, as a partner, business partner, investor. However, we think that that could work. Okay. And you strike me as a very intelligent young woman. I'd like to say that as well. Thank you. I appreciate it. Likewise. You're welcome. Um, so what, tell me in detail, like what's the premise? What, what would the prop, what, what purpose would the property serve? Like what type of business? Well, would it it would be real estate, investment real estate. Um, it could be apartment complexes, complexes, retail space, waterfront property. Um, there's a lot of opportunity out there for the Davenports. And I'd love to have the Wellingtons a part of that. Now we had been looking when your, when your dad was alive, mm -hmm. uh, we'd been looking at some waterfront property to develop that and to, to expand our portfolio. He wasn't interested in that because it was in an area that isn't quite gentrified yet, but I believe that it will be the next gentrification project. And with that, getting in early with a lower, you know, lower price, lower terms could benefit both companies. Hmm. Interesting. And my father did not want to perceive this previous proposal because it wasn't gentrified at that moment. Correct. It's, it's in a... Uh, it's in a less than desirable area, we'll say. Hmm. Okay. Um, I respect the offer proposal. Um, I would need to see the numbers to really see if it's even worth the time or investment. Um, right now, I do know for a fact that my father told you no previously, it had to be for a very good reason. 
So I would need to actually see it in writing um, to really digest the information. And then I can have one of my assistants follow up with you in regards to whether or not we're going to need to figure out how to map out the next steps or if it's going to be a no thank you. Um, as my father gave you once before. So I need to see more details in it because if things have not changed since the last time you proposed this idea to him and he said no, I'm just curious to what changed. So let me understand this. Let me understand this. Mm -hmm. Where do you want your company to be in 20 years? Because the one thing I will say that your father was challenged with, with is that he had a lack of vision. Hmm. And with that lack of vision means that you continue to put yourself in a box. When you're in that box, you can't get out of it. He had tunnel vision. He didn't mm -hmm. have big vision. And so the things that I've heard about you, Kata, is that you've got big vision. You want to, you know, grow your company. You want to grow your footprint of your company. And right. you don't do that by standing still. And what I'm hearing from you in the undertones is that you understand that. You want to support your dad, but I can hear that you understand that if you take an area that is less than desirable and make it desirable, there's a lot of money there for everybody. Yeah, it takes a lot of money up front to make that happen also. But far as my father, he did not like vision. Let me correct you in that standpoint. He gave birth to it. That's me. So when it came to uh, different... Touché. Thank you. Hmm. Um, but when it came to different projects and different um, business ventures, like we will always have heavy conversation. And I do remember conversation in regards to the proposal that you had once uh, given to him and he gave me all of the, the actual key points to why he didn't want to do that. So um, I would have been very intrigued if things have changed at this moment in time versus being in the same state as it once was when you proposed this idea the first time. Um, then I would probably like, okay, yeah, this may be a good well, idea. Let, let me stop you there, young lady. Okay. What, what exactly were the reasons that he gave you? What were the reasons that he gave? He didn't you? articulate that to you. No, he did not. Hmm. I wonder why. Ah, good question. Good question. Um, hmm. But I can't answer that, and he's not here with us. Correct. That's obvious. Yeah. Um. Ah, uh, I don't know. Uh, only thing I can say is send a proposal to my office. I'll take a gander and see if anything has changed based off of the information that I currently have. And then um, there are certain steps that I have to take in order to say yes or no. I mean, yes, I am the final decision maker when it comes to the businesses my father owned um, or still have within our family um, empire. But it's just not an easy yes. I have to look at all angles. I have to look at projections. And I have to see the vision, as you so um, eloquently articulated that I have. I have to see that first. And until I can see that point, I can't say yeah or nay or make any promises. Mm hmm. Well, let me let me be clear here. I don't send proposals. That's oh. something that I don't do. No, okay. I don't. I have business meetings where we discuss opportunities. Um, I haven't sent a proposal in years. That's not what we do. That's not what I do. Okay. Uh, if you need to see a written proposal, we can meet, we can discuss, we can actually come together and present a straw man. And then if you decide you'd like to move forward, then I can have someone on my team send your team a proposal. Okay. Well, you know, I appreciate that. And I, I comprehend how you move, but I don't actually uh, set business meetings up until I can actually analyze it and figure out whether or not it's worth my time. Ooh, Kitty's so, got claws. Okay. Yeah. Kitty's got course. claws. Okay. Of course. Okay. Um, it's, it's part of the relative's blood factor. But um, yeah, I respect what you do and how you move, but uh, regrettably, until I see something in writing and actually can visualize what you're offering or proposing, then um, there's no point in you wasting your time or me wasting my time. I got it. Yeah. So therefore, I'm going to take my proposal elsewhere. And when the Wellingtons realized that they missed out on an opportunity, a very <laughs> great opportunity, because we're in a time right now where you buy low, you develop and sell high. Correct. That's the times we're in right now. And I think you know what these conditions and times that we're in as well. Mm -hmm. And for me, this looks more like a, ah, because daddy didn't want it, I don't want it. You need to grow up and make some decisions for yourself. I make very that's powerful. That's how I built Davenport. Right that's there. how your dad uh, built the Wellington Empire. And that's right. how your mom supported him. Yeah. So, uh, yes. That's yeah, I see why my dad said no in the first place. Um, <laughs> it's beyond me making a decision with his say-so or his approval, because there mm -hmm. has been times where 
I had to convince him that this was a great, certain things were great ideas. But when you said buy low, buy high, do you know anything about the international markets, the exchange rates, and how you have that same capability without what's taking place right now to really make money and capitalize yeah. on it? So when you because say expansion and vision in boxes, mm -hmm. you're talking about one location here in the States where there's not even a containment plan that's been communicated to the public, but you want big investments in certain properties and yeah. Do you understand the real estate market? Uh, I do. Okay. Do you understand the real estate market? I so do. if you understood the real estate market, you would know that you strike when the, t when the iron is hot, mm -hmm. right? And right now it's not just one property. Mm -hmm. It's a development property. It's development property. It's waterfront property. Anything near the water adds value anyway. And if you're in areas where the majority of the population is lesser means, um, those opportunities to scoop in and buy up that property for little to nothing pennies on the dollar. And hmm. right now, banks are giving away money. Interest rates are zero. This is a prime opportunity to invest in real estate. Absolutely. And I don't think that you're thinking with your business sense, you're thinking with your Wellington family sense. That's hmm. just my opinion. But we'll table this conversation for now. Hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> I wanna remind you something. Um, your company grew because of heavy influence from my family. I am aware of that. And it wasn't on your own strength and your own knowledge as far as the real estate industry. So let me be clear. Um, if you have information, like just send me the address to the property and I have a fleet of lawyers that are expertise in every field imaginable. And then I will have a conversation with them. That's how now, I make decisions. Now you're thinking like a businesswoman, Kata. And I love that. I now see the, I see the lining, that lining that comes from your mother, Lady C. It's a strong one. It's it's powerful and it's what you need to really look to focus on the future. It's the same thing that I tell my daughters. Yeah. It's the same good. thing that I see in you. Thank you. And that's great advice mm -hmm. to give. Those are jewels actually. And I do have a <laughs> clothing and makeup empire line. Like I have created empires. So I, I honestly know what it takes. I understand industry. I understand arenas. Um, I was trained very well in that space. So, um, before I can measure to see whether or not it's actually mm -hmm. worth it. And, and I have to see forecasts. I have to see models. I have to see how this development is going to come to play. I need to see what the projection of getting the returns on what we invest. There you go. Yes. Like, if you, I'm not going to meet with anyone. And it's nothing against you, Ms. Davenport. I won't meet with anyone without seeing. Please call me Lillian. Please call Lillian. me Lillian. No problem. I need to physically see that in order to get the visual components and know what questions to post in my legal team. Once that happens, then we probably can have a discussion, but I don't really have time to waste that to say that you are. Um, I just don't because of all the things that I have on my plate that I'm, I'm taking care of. And also this is a time where my father, um, we have to get all the arrangements for his service and um, it's a lot. It's a lot to deal with right now. So um, send me an address. If you think it's worth me taking a gander and the worth us having a meeting and coming to a mutual ground to say, hey, this is worth meeting and discussing and actually looking at the proposal, no problem. But I need something to have my legal team research first to see if it's even worth my time because what I won't do is waste my time nor will I waste yours. So. Okay. And I'd like to say I'm wearing your lipstick. So Thank I'm you. a supporter of your cosmetics. I want and... to look familiar. Yeah. See, <laughs> I think we can make this work. I think we can make this work. I'm already a customer. Thank you. I appreciate the business. I really do. Um, and then uh, just for, for fair, fair measures, um, send me an address where I can send you some, some free products. That way you can okay. test them out and you can do that. your viewpoint on that. And um, we'll figure something out. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. I enjoyed this conversation, young lady. Likewise. You have a beautiful day. You too. Thank you. Carla, Carla dear, uh, look, have the bags brought in. I went to the mall, bought all that stuff, and it should be in by now. Take care of that, please, and make sure that all the plans for Spain are on track.
what's the good what's the use of having an assistant if you're not going to do what you're supposed to do i just i don't know what i'm gonna wait a minute i don't know this no what is well hello eleanor it's it's eleanor you recognize me right Eleanor Vanderbilt. Carmela, it's so nice to see you. It's been what? Ugh, like 30, gosh, 32 years to be exact. 32 exactly, darling. Mm. Crawling out of the hole, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I heard the news. So I just kind of wanted to see how you were doing. Cut to the chase, darling. You just came to see if there's anything left of your fling <laughs> broken. Not fling. No, 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 no. You're such a classy woman. I've always thought highly of you. So let's not do that. Oh, darling. Let, let, let's not get it twisted. Ugh. I'm classy 24-7. Yeah. But when I see this call yes. in your face, yes. it took me a second, darling. Mm beautiful but still i know you, where you shouldn't have honey i know i know and, and and what you did i mean let's let's be truthful it cost you a lot to buy my salads i mean that five million dollar check thank you thank you i mean you, you you set me up in a lovely condo it's it's kind of small now considering what i can have um forthcoming that is and and I did sign that no contact clause. And you got to admit, I did. I did not reach out to you or anyone in your family. You have to admit, I did adhere to your rules. So what exactly do you want right now? Why are you calling? Well, what? He, to bluntly put it, he's dead. So uh, what? that being said, I just thought that you and I should just kind of talk about some things. Camilla, let's just talk. Woman okay. to woman, let's just talk. Let's just talk. Okay, woman to, yeah, okay. okay. Talk. You got, well, I just you got a couple that. of minutes. Um, uh, get, let's, let's okay, talk. Okay, well, I'll make I'm sorry. Quick. I'm sorry. Your call was really, really unexpected. Mm. So if I'm we sure. could just get to Beat this so you can see what you need. Okay. What you want. Well, I, I just want to throw some things and, and, and you just tell me how you feel about it. But seeing that, you know, we love the same man. <laughs> we did. Um, I just think that I'm entitled to something else. You know, in buying my silence, there were some things I just didn't tell you. You bought a little bit more than you bargained for. What I didn't share with you Carmela, mm -hmm. was that I was actually two weeks pregnant when I boarded that plane. <laughs> darling. Yes, darling. darling. Yes. Listen, I, I think you failed to remember who you're dealing with here. First mm -hmm. of all, remind me, if, if, if I intercepted your glorious little hinder parts or hinder parts at the airport, uh, gave you pennies and uh, set you up in something that you should have been really, really grateful to receive. And clearly you have not followed instructions because here you are now. Mm. Uh, let me tell you something, darling. I have eyes and ears everywhere. I mm. have you do. Perhaps video surveillance. And as for your little pup, that you think came out of your union with my late husband. Right. Brogan, Brogan who passed around peen like peanuts. Um, hmm? Oh, he put you through a and lot, you, didn't you, he? You, you, caught, you caught the last of that, but it didn't pay off for you because mm -hmm. I uh, don't think you've had the, uh, a glimmer, a glimpse at your medical records or all your daughters. Oh, uh. Might need to check that because I knew you were going to go there, and I'm going to let you get that out because I'm what I'm not going to do is go back and forth with you. 
So I was prepared for you to say all of that in this. I want all of the smoke, darling. I was prepared, prepared for all of this. But just remember that silence that you bought didn't buy the information that I'm holding. I know where the bodies are buried. I have files. I have all of that. I know you have a lot of wealth, but every dollar that you earned wasn't honest. But it's okay. So keep spilling it. It wasn't honest, darling. Of course. You followed in my footstep. You tried to be a replica of me. So Never. bravo. Never. Never. Bravo. Never. bravo, darling. Listen. You slept your way up, darling. I did earn an education. I slept my no, way up. No, no, I do have degrees. I slept my I way up. You have degrees. Listen, darling. Yes. Let me right. tell you what my mother said. Mm. Let me tell you what my mother said. I Your dead mother, but go ahead. She said, baby, remember this. <laughs> All a whore is going to do is get dirty. Mm. So don't you forget that. Did she say that? Well, bring the soap. Uh, uh, bring the soap. You. Because I will be there for the soap, reading. I will, my soap. daughter will be there too. You know that, right? Pass soap. Your past mm -hmm. soap, darling. Oh, you, what you, do I mean? You, you're unclean. Unclean, unclean. Don't call my phone again because there's nothing you could possibly say or do that would penetrate the Wellington Shield. You should yes. know this. Listen. Obviously, things have been things, penetrated, darling. All things set aside. I, I, I really do. Okay. I really do commend you on your achievements if you can call it. Well, yes, your achievements. Uh, Darling. The cattiness. Don't come for me. The cattiness. Don't, don't do that. When are you gonna stop that? Don't do that. That's the stuff that he whined about constantly, your cattiness, it's got to stop. Can you, you handle the cattiness? You're too beautiful for this. Of course I'm beautiful, so are you. Uh, well, I'm just saying that I just wanted to call. You told me to hurry up. So I'm trying to deliver the news the best I can. I will be there for the reading of the will. So will I'm, my daughter. What? So will my daughter. What? She wants to meet her you sibling. You are what? I will be there for the reading of the will. I didn't want to just barge in. Dear, you're barging. Um, you are a barge. Your whole life is a barge. Well, actually, it's going to be a grand interest because I will be wearing Chanel. But I'm just saying, I will be there. Um, and so will well, my daughter, because she's doing very well, and I want her to meet her sibling. Check your medical records, darling. Oh, I will. You want to have the swab ready for the DNA test? Mm -hmm. Check That's them. okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. sure. We can do that. And by the way, darling. Yes. Watch your back. Watch your front. Watch. Period. I'm watching. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs> Apparently. Good seeing you. I can't say the same. Oh, I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm clicking off now. All right, darling. Mm -hmm. Until then. Until then. I do miss your friendship. Please don't insult me. <laughs> All right, darling. Until next time. Really. But I will be at the reading of the will. And so we should. Uh -huh. Toodles. Toodles. Vivian. Uh, let's see here. Okay, can you uh can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. What's up, big brother? How you doing? Hey, I'm doing all right. I'm just uh I, I, I'm, I'm just mom and all of this and everything else is just, I, I'm, I'm just kind of. Wait, 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 wait. You look funny. You're slurring your words. What's going on? What's going on? And I know something wrong because you're calling me. We, could, we can't have stay in each other. Why are you calling me? I just want to say I love you and I miss dad and. I, they just never could really understand me. And now this will and things and people are calling and expecting me to have some say and I am the oldest, but 
I tried to do the right thing, sis. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Sonny, 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 Sonny. Nobody's expecting anything out of you, baby. You know, um, I get it. I know we couldn't have stand each other growing up. God, you was a whiner. Oh, I'm sorry, I digress. But I'm just saying, <laughs> you just got to man it up. You just got to, what's wrong with you? What's going on? What, what's really, I mean, what, what's really going on in Sonny's head? I, I just, you know, I, mom got on me last week about, you know, I, I was in Turkey just trying to make some deals and... Wait, what, why was you in Turkey trying to make some... I, I, I just I was they were I was talking with these people and I told them that you know we can get the Wellington business involved there and some oil and stuff and we can move smooth some things with the. Uh, Sonny, did you did you talk to anybody? Did you talk to KK? Did you talk? I ain't heard nothing about. This is my first time hearing about. Why are you making Wellington side deals? I was just trying to do it and then they came and stormed and I was in you know next thing I know I was hit and things and I woke up in Germany and mom was fussing and. I was in Uganda and I was some other places and now I'm just following me. Sonny, what? <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. I just y'all see y'all do too much. Y'all 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 do too much, you know. And so I just don't get it. Well, who are you trying to prove something to? Why don't you just be yourself? If you're not into the Wellington this and the business aspect of da 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 da, it doesn't matter that you're the oldest or blah blah blah. If it's not who you are, it's not who you are. But you trying to trace around the globe trying to prove something. Come on, man. Oh, maybe I can go, maybe I can go surfing. Would that help, you know, with your brain, you know, your, with your life and things? It, you know, maybe I need some healing. Maybe I can go surfing and hang oh, in Hawaii. Sonny, Sonny, first of all, okay. Man, let, let, wait, wait, let me pause, let me pause. Maybe I'm being a little too hard to you. On you, I apologize. I'm gonna ask you a serious question. I'm not. I'm not trying to come down on you. Do you seriously, Lord? Don't cry. I'm sorry. I just think you need some help. I really think you need like somebody to help you. I ain't getting get any straight, time. honey, and get your mind straight and your mo. You all over the place. You know, and it doesn't help with <laughs> mom always. Yak, 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 nag, 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 all up in your ear. Gosh. I know, I know. Oh, somebody taking pictures outside the door now and things. I'm just hanging out and things and stuff like that. She want me to come home and so she can watch over me. Mm. Look, Sonny, everybody's not built the same. Everybody's not. But I'm not less than because of that. I don't act You're like that. And he always loves that on Senator Roberts and things. Look, 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 I understand. I get it. Everybody had high expectations, you know, for you because you're the oldest and you're the male. You're the boy. You know, I get that. Now that I'm older, I see it. When I was younger, yes, I was kind of like really negative towards you because you just came across as weak and a, a hippie. I don't even know what you were. But as I'm older now, I see that it's just not in you to deal with all this Wellington stuff. And it doesn't make you less of a person. Your feelings are valid. But you need to, like, take ownership of that and go, you know, this is who I am. Don't try to pretend to be something you're not because you're going to mess everything up. They say, they, they, say, they say, okay, they say that, you know, people, if someone in, you know, we got some interest in New Orleans and, you know, those people that do that voodoo stuff down there and in some of those areas, are they, so, does mine got somebody doing stuff and poking me or something? There ain't nobody got no voodoo doll on you, Sonny. Ain't nobody out to get you. The only person out to get you is you. You just got to be like, own up to who you are. If you're not a businessman or a tycoon or uh, entrepreneur like you know KK or whatever so what but what we don't need you doing is pretending and messing up everything come on won't you go get some help just go take a retreat just go somewhere like disappear not disappear Lord, they got to Vivian didn't tell you to go disappear but I'm just saying go take some time out for yourself without making any side deals like a little retreat or something and go find out who you are you know, and if, if this stuff is not for you, it's not for you. 
you're not as cutthroat as me and KK. You kind of sensitive there. I don't want man. I don't want you talking about things. I, like, I, I should. I had women, I think, but uh, I, I, you know, I don't know. You know, I, I I was in London the other day, and I gave this lady a hundred dollars to cut, you know, to hey, have dinner, and she didn't show up. I don't know. Oh God, you do need somebody to watch over you, Sonny. I, 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 no offense, but you need you need help, big bro. I'm not the one to help you. I'm too shakes from crazy myself. So yeah, they, they, everybody love you. I don't think like you got the Emmy, the Tony, the Oscar, the Grammy, all the stuff and things and then, you know. And maybe I, when you get your next award, maybe you can bring me on stage and everybody will love me too. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Um, call KK. See what she got to say about everything. Okay. Uh, thank love you. you. Love you, sis. Thank you. Hello there, young lady. Mr. How, Bradford, how are you? Oh, I'm doing good now that I see your beautiful face. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm just amusing that you look as beautiful in the daytime as you do in the night. Oh, stop it, Bradford. You and your compliments. I swear, like, you know that's not going nowhere, right? Oh, <laughs> apparently it did go somewhere a couple times. <laughs> I had one too many. Anywho, what's up? Did you get that big payout yet? Oh, yes. Uh, that was, uh, thank you for that inf little bit of information. Mm -hmm. uh, I try to figure, you know, one good turn deserves another, but uh, that was really, really, really good information. Um, mm -hmm. I took that uh, stock trade there, the split, and uh, bet against it and things, and mm -hmm. now just uh, $20 million a little bit better. Right, that whole entire part. Now you can flip that. That's how, the multiply effect is amazing. Oh yes, yeah. 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 It just took two nights to get it out of you. <laughs> Anywho, what brings you in my neck of the woods? What's up? Why calling? Well, I was visiting the area, and I wanted to ensure that uh, the information I gave regarding your family's name and some of the dealings overseas that. Mm -hmm. You kind of kept that classified because I shut down the operation and investigation. Uh, Interpol was really um, Interpol was really heavy up on you and things like that. I wanted to ensure that you were, you know, properly using the information. Yes, of course. And you know, I'm like a, the the safest safe on the planet. Like I don't share things unless I have to. There's leverage that comes behind that, and you mm. know that. Well, leverage is you're very good at. Uh, Correct. So I give you that. But, you know, there's some upcoming things down the line and things I want to ensure. And uh, y'all have a will reading coming up soon, right? Mm, maybe. <laughs> you can't lie to me. I'm pretty <laughs> up here. I'm not trying to. But, um, you know, just remember that uh, without me, that reading may not have happened. Yeah, I get that part. I never forget favors, even though they sometimes can kill you quicker than a bullet. But um, <laughs> right, that Ooh. part, yeah. But um, we're square, man. Well, you know, hey, let's just say the neighbors didn't uh, kind of complained a little bit at the hotel. So. <laughs> why? Because I gave you a run for your money. Is that why you calling me? Tell me what's really good. Mm -hmm. You trying to share that twenty million with me? What else are you trying to share? What? Nothing. I'm you're stingy. Very, you already know that. I'm so You know, you're very good at making uh, things disappear. Of course. You know, so. <laughs> it's the Wellington's way. If oh. the price is, is good enough. But price. Oh. be straight with me, Bradford. Why are you calling me? Well, I just wanted to see how you're doing and things. And, you know, I'm only used to seeing you at night. So I wanted to see what you look like in the daytime. <laughs> when I woke up, you were already gone. Of course. I mean, like at the end of the day, time is money. I had things to do. You know that. Mm -hmm. I was like shocked that you can never walk. But um, really, yeah. you were the one passed out. Let's travel down memory lane. <laughs> right, that whole part. I heard you didn't recover until almost twenty four hours later. Well, you know, it was a nice hotel. You enjoyed what you enjoyed. Uh, you know, you enjoyed all the food and 
especially the food and all the room service that you ordered, but it was all right. I got 20 million. So, right. but you know, there's going to be more things coming on down the line. I know some deals uh, out in Australia. Mm. China is emerging. They're trying to come out of this uh, situation with the virus. And right. They're trying to, uh, you know, come above and they got some investments and, they don't really like to acknowledge Mongolia a whole lot, but they got some, you know, business things they're trying to go in. And there's a little bit of uh, some political insurrection. I'm going to have a couple of meet with some of our partners over in Eastern Europe to see about it, to overlook it, make sure that things are not, um, you know, going too wild. We tend to like let things happen and let it play itself out. But when it kind of gets involved in U.S. interests, it's a right. problem. So yeah, I get that. make sure we need to make sure that comes uh, together. But you know, when it's time to rebuild the country, you mm -hmm. know, in U.S. terms, you know, take over. Right. Um, we need good organizations to sponsor. Hmm. Um, and you know, to provide employment for the people. Oh, my level of expertise. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you know, when that's coming on down the line, so I just wanted to let you know that, you know, there need to be some factories built and some permits that you have already applied for. And you mean already own? Oh, yes, excuse me. You oh. already own some permits um, in the area. So after this little mess that ends in the next couple of months, whenever whatever governor decides to open up, um, I'd like for you to uh, take a trip. Okay. Maybe we can. You, you have my interest. Um, I know they said a few months or blah blah blah, whatever. Um, <laughs> you know my family has resources, and my mother can make things happen. All I have to do is explain to her how I love what I need. Let's um, not involve your mother too much. Um, no, I'm not involving her on what we're going there for. I will be involving her in order to use vehicles to get there safely. Come on, Bradford. I just want to let you know, I don't want your mother, you know, she likes power and she sees my oh. name. I don't want her to think I'm, you know, you're chasing mm -hmm. after me because of <laughs> who I am. But you know. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself, Bradford. Well, Whatever. I, I understand, you know. Mm -hmm. I have experienced you a tad bit. Yeah, don't flatter yourself. Yes, you have experienced me. Mm. <laughs> it was fun. Anywho, um, I'm intrigued about what's going on in Australia. I want to, um, I'm scheduled to go to Mongolia in the next three weeks. Don't go. Private jet. What do you mean don't go? Don't go. Okay. Why? We want to make sure that things are appear to be on the up and up. And if you're there, why there are still some feuding, it will look like that you are already in play. And we don't need the people to know that. So kind of stay out of the way. You know, look into uh, northern China. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, northern Japan, some other places. You want me to go to northern China? Tell me what's really good. Oh, well, it's quite peaceful. The people live a long time. You don't misspeak often. <laughs> you, do you realize what's taking place there right now? You suggested that I go there versus Mongolia, where yeah. I have complete protection. Well, they have. And you need, like. You got. Listen, listen, Doc. Your security team <laughs> and the protection that we can provide. But, mm. uh, or better yet, what I can provide you. Okay. Well, since you love me so much, why don't you make those arrangements? You know, I might well, but only if you take, uh, you know, in the Samoa area. I got some time on, because um, got some time off. You might can spend a couple of days out there in the beaches with me. Nobody will know, just you and I. And, you know, I might be able to provide some additional information for you. You, you know. can give me that anyway. Oh, I'm going to give you a few things. <laughs> Like I said before, don't flatter yourself, Bradford. But well, anywho, you said it. You said um, when we was out there last time, um, you said there were other things that was quite tasty besides the meal. Was I drunk? Well, you know, hey, I have that. Was effect. I high? I have that effect on women. You do. Mm -hmm. Without any <laughs> additives, without any substances, without being um, alleviated. 
Nah, baby. Nah, baby. Nah, baby. You I don't know. You look different when a person is elevated. When alleviation brings a whole new picture to life. Mm. That's why you're so easy? Okay. I'm oh, sorry. easy. Mm -hmm. No, there was... I'll keep that to myself. Okay, not a problem. Well, dear, I got to catch my flight. I got to go meet with the prime minister and some other things and uh, talk to the president. But um, Tell prime minister Chuck I said hello. Uh, oh. Mm -hmm. hmm. Is there a question I need to be asking here? No. Okay. You, you forget, I don't, I don't kiss and tell. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Yo, you don't kiss and tell, huh? I don't. Hmm. Well, um, mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that, you know, I'll be sure to give them the message. Okay. No problem. Take Never. care of yourself and be safe. Bye -bye. Later, Bradford. Later, sister. <laughs> Not with you. <laughs>I'm so sorry. I apologize as well. I love you so much. I just don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just, I can't, I can't, you know, rein my temper in sometimes. And a lot of times I speak before I think, but Ma, I never lie. I never lie. That's something I don't do. I tell the truth and I tell it like it is, you know, that's so very true. going on you know, that it ain't right. And all yes. these people faking and, and shucking and jiving and lying. I'm just sick of it. You know, I'm already in an industry where everybody fake. Got to come to deal with my family and they fake. You got to deal with friends and they fake. I'm just sick of the fakeness and the fraud. And I'm just, you know, so I'm trying to do better. So I decided to call you back, especially with all this Rona and stuff going on because you only get one mother, you know, and uh, just want to check and see how you was doing and things like that. I tried to call you um, earlier, uh, uh, trying to think I called you about three or four times and they kept saying you was on another call. Who are you uh, talking to on video? Darling, when I tell you I have had a ham sandwich of a day because of that call, you will net, well, <laughs> last time you said you knew things. So, um, I'm pretty sure you remember that, Eleanor Vanderbilt. Do you remember that? Oh, that lady with a little bit of hair. Mm. <laughs> I came that close. I, to, her. I came that close to snatching her. <laughs> she was going to make all of my African come out of me, you know. <laughs> all of it. I act crazy because my mama That's crazy. Right. You're just like your mother. <laughs> That's why we don't get along. So, I mean, wait, well, I haven't seen her since I was like a little girl, child, indigenous in age. Genius. <laughs> Low hammers. That, hmm. Child, that was pounds ago. So what she want? Well, you know how vultures kind of come around when they get the scent of death and think that they're going to get a free meal? Buzzards, yeah. Well, apparently the five million, the setup for her livelihood and the little pup that she thought I didn't know about. Um, wait, 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 wait. You just, you just, you just ran that past me real quick. Yes. What do you mean, pup? And, and She's why, she wait, daughter. Wait, wait. What that got to do with us? Her having a daughter. Darling. Meat, bread, sandwich. She okay. thinks she's. She thinks she has a meal here. She says she's going to crash the reading of the will. Can you believe that? Wait a minute. Is she trying to say that that child of hers belongs to daddy? That's exactly what she's trying to say. But get oh, get out of here! Are you serious? 
you know what? And this and one, the, I mean, this, this is between us, dear. You can't tell anybody else, but when, when she was for decades, you know, I intercepted her at the airport. You know that, right? I do. Know. I intercepted her at the airport. And that's when I gave her the five mil, got the house and all that other stuff. But guess what? What she doesn't realize is that I have had eyes on her. I have had surveillance. I've had lines tapped. And um, I also have someone. I'm so good. I can't get over myself. I've got a mole planted in her company, actually. Whoa. Yes. And what she doesn't know is that I'm one of the top shareholders. Shut <laughs> up! Can you rock it with your mother like that? What? I am a top shareholder. She is so clueless. Oh, that clueless. Ding back clueless she is. She really is. So, so what's she trying to do since daddy's dead? Yes. She's trying to come in and bring her scrub of a pup of a, of, of a thing or a child and Vulture. try to take some of our inheritance? Vulture. Yes, that's exactly what she's doing. And, you know, no, really, that's really I, I, don't, I don't really blame her. If it hadn't been for your grandfather, I mean, he set me up before I ever met Broken. And, you know, I don't need the money. I, I'm really concerned about the family. You know, you all may think I'm cuckoo. You know, you might, but... But Coco She is not blood. No, she's and not. And that little pup of hers is not blood. Is there any proof that the child belongs to daddy? Listen, I took care of that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. What you do? Tampered with the records. I've got people everywhere. <laughs> oh my God. She's got to be so stunned. She's not going to leave with a penny. She's not. I'll see to it. You ain't nothing but the truth. I, man, I, I got, mm, uh, I, mm, uh, <laughs> that's, love, that's my mama. Now, this is the mama I like. This is the mama I like. Ruthless. Like a rock star, darling. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Oh, my so, God. Mommy, it's going to be fun. Fantastic. It certainly won't be like she think it's going to be. This I mean, I have to give her props. Circus. It's a freaking circus. It is. It really is. And oh, there are the things that we have to talk about face to face. Oh, Tiberius. Ty we can say too much. Big brother watching. He thinks he, he thinks he owns a starship, but really, if he's not careful, he's going to end up back at the storefront. In Alabama. Well, you know, wait, wait, wait but, uh, let me switch gears just real quick. I know, I know um, you busy and whatever else, and this is a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm processing, I'm processing. But the reason why I was blowing up your phone is because uh, I wanted to talk to you about something, something. And when you didn't answer, Sunday, Sunday, Sonny ended up calling me. And um, he was the one I wanted to talk to you about in the first place. And then after I talked to him, I realized that I was right in what I was thinking. I really think Sonny has a problem, mom. And he's not built like your girls. He's like really, really, really sensitive. And um, he's fragile mentally and emotionally. And you know what I'm saying? And I was going to talk to you about him in the first place, you know, but then after I, you know, he called me, I'm like, he's worse than what I thought. His mind ain't all, he acting like, I don't want to say he got old timers, <laughs> but he acting like he ain't all together. And I really think that you need to place him somewhere, somewhere where he can be protected and stop traipsing, traipsing across the world, making side deals in the Wellington name. He can't have to boil some chicken. You see what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not trying to be harsh, but we got to rein him in somehow. You know, um, I don't know what KK wanted to talk to me about, but she said some big things going on internationally and some big stuff going on. And we don't need Sonny traipsing across the planet 
calling Emma Wellington and giving people money and buying girlfriends and, and he think it's a girl. I hope it ain't a boy. You know, I, you know, and he was all upset because he said you had said something to him. You said he won't want, want a man or some half a man. I, I don't know. I was half listening child. But um, one of, it was one of those conversations, darling. You know how sensitive he is. And, and really and truly, he was better than that before that, that Loki, I think that's what they call him, his nickname. Lorcan. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Lorcan him? That little twit. He, yeah. he was the one that was really responsible for the root of all that Sonny's going through right now. I think I might have him disappear. <laughs> no, 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 we can't. Ma, all right, don't disappear. I, I thought out loud, you, you have to excuse me. I know, no, 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 you're always making people disappear. Stop that. Uh, Stop disappearing people. Jeez, Louise. I don't way, you way, darling. Have, have you ever made I have use for him. In a lot of ways. What? I have use for him. Don't, don't disappear him, please. Okay, all right. Well, well, well Sonny. Gosh, I'm trying to be the first lady of the United of the States. Don't be killing up on people. Oh, I'm sorry, you don't do that. You Big better thing. secure that bag like you yes. secure everything else you touch, darling. Exactly. I mean, I didn't reach my pinnacle of the acting and all that entertainment stuff. I want to do something else, and I want to do Lorky. Okay. I th I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't forget, I know I'm just oh. like my mama. You probably had breakfast recently, didn't you? Hallelujah. Ah! <laughs> just like my mama. <laughs> That's don't, right. Don't yeah. be disappearing on Lorky. Don't don't make him disappear. I got needs. Really? <laughs> I can't, you know. Uh, <laughs> All right, within the next six months, I won't make anyone disappear. How about that? Wait, 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 wait. You might have to make that lady disappear with the pup. Oh, you know. Yeah, I, I let you have that. That's already, that's not even on, that's done. She, she won't see it coming. She won't. Aren't we evil? Nah, we good. <laughs> no, we're, we're evil spelled backwards. We live, darling. Hello? Eh, 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 eh. With you, mom, just check on your crazy son, please. please. All right, darling, I'm going to Spain. Would you like to go? No, I have to work on uh, my um, new investment, <laughs> Lorky. Yeah, oh, dear. okay. Well, love you. Toodles. Bye. <laughs> Hello, this is Pastor Jones. How may I help you? So, Pastor Jones, this is Eleanor Vanderbilt. How are you? Eleanor Lily, how are you, Chanel? I'm well, and what about yourself? How are you? I, I am blessed and highly favored. I have not heard her view in quite a while. It's been yeah. a while. Uh, uh, yeah, there's reasons for that. So, I'm just checking in and checking the temperature, basically. Well, you know, uh, uh, I, I would never tell uh, Sister uh, Sister Wellington, but you know, Brother Brogan was uh, a little disappointed that you, uh, as the young people say, ghosted him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I ghosted him because basically, you know, she was, she being <laughs> the insecure one, she, she wanted me gone and I had to leave. The insecure one, uh, um, Carmela. Ooh, ooh, good lord. Good yeah, lord. yeah, yeah. So she wrote me, me a me, check. You know about it? Yeah, I'm sorry. I me, mean, she, 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 she knew. Yeah, she, she uh -huh. knew. She, she found ooh. out. She found out that, um, that he really was tired of her and bored of her, and that she really was just a power hungry woman, and her and her little wolf pack of children was just. Right. Now you got you got to be respectful of a widow now. Yeah, yeah well, you know, it, it is what it is, and I I don't mince words. Um, but nonetheless, um, it is what it is, and he's where he is, and and 
Who I'm up here. And high or looking low? Bless us. With this Is prayer. he? Or maybe he's looking up. I don't know. No, 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 no. That's not that's not the evil of the dead. Okay. Evil of the dead. All right. So I'm <clears> just, <throat> you know, I will you be at the at the reading of the will? Do you know anything about the will? Well, yes, I, I will be reading the will. Um, Brother Brogan and I had many conversations about his wishes, and so I will be presiding at that um, that event. Uh, tragic as it is, I, I, it is my duty. Right. Uh, it's really not my pleasure, but it is my duty okay. to preside at that particular reading. So yeah. it'll be just a close knit thing with just the family. Just the family, right. Well, um, yeah, so I'm, you know, technically I'm not, I'm not a part of the family, but I do have someone that belongs in that family. So I will uh, be escorting her there. So, so it's, it's just a, a niece or a nephew or you said no, her. No, it's, it's, it's the daughter. Niece. It's the daughter that he and I share. Are you are coming with, with, with KK or with Vivian? I tell no, I have nothing to do with them. So I, I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused. Um, I, I'm, I'm a little I conceived his confused. child. I had a little girl. Are you? You sound a little. Are you okay? I, 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 I'm a little nervous because I thought I thought I heard. You know, my hearing aid ain't working like it used to. But I, 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 I think I heard. I thought I heard. I, I think I heard that that there was a, a, a that you had a a a a, 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 a baby. A ba you, baby, did you have a baby? Yeah, I did. I did, and she's she's a beautiful woman now. And she's very successful. She's she's about twenty four. Um, she's she's doing great in life, and I just want her to stand along with the rest of them, uh, be it as it may, um, and just get what is hers. So anyway, cutting through all of that, um, I do. So how, how, how the baby daddy doing? How the baby I'm, daddy doing? Who what? You said you had a baby. How, how, how your husband doing? He's deceased, and you knew him, and that would be Sir Brogan. So, so hold on, hold on. So, so Brogan, your husband? Did I, did I miss that? I, I'm somehow I'm confused. I, I, Pastor, I don't Jones, know Pastor Jones, Pastor Jones, Pastor Jones, Pastor Jones. I know you counsel people and you preach the word of God, and so you are. I am a man of God. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know that you you hear things pr pretty clear. And what I'm saying to you is when that when I was having a relationship with this man, um, I was pregnant by him and I had a child with him. And oh, the wages of sin is cheering. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't think the scripture was quite written that way, but we'll take it for what it's worth. Well, in, in Medea 2.5, it says the wages of sin it's church. Oh, and I guess it could be death, and maybe that's why he's deceased. So anyway, um, so I just, you know, want to make sure that you're there, because he did speak highly of you, and it would be you nice to have a friendly face there. Not that I'm seeking alliance, but I just wanted to know if you were going to be there. Well, yes, I'll be, I'll be reading the will. You know, you know, he and I go way back. We were in Selma together back with the Civil Rights Movement there at the Ebbett Pettus Bridge on, on Blood right. Sunday. We go way back. You know, we watch it, watch it arm in arm with Martin Luther King. That's a picture in Time Magazine. With it. Yeah, well, we'll talk about that later. You're a little off track. But I do have one question before we go. So yes, yes, yes. Which, will, will, which will will you be reading? Because there is two of them. Uh, uh, well, uh, I'm only aware of the official the truth. will. You are, I, I'm sorry. I always tell the truth. I, I all, I'm a man of God. I always tell the truth. The truth shall set you free. So and you I'm are aware now. that there is. You are aware that there is two. I am aware that there is that I will be reading what whatever is out there. I'll be reading the official will, and I'm sure that 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 is what Brother Brogan and I had discussed for many, many, many years. I'll, be reading I'll, I'll take that as a semi yes. Okay, well I, I'm okay with that. I'm quite sure that. A lawyer has probably been in, in contact with you, I, you know, but that's, I just wanted to know where you stood with that, so. Pastor Kalili, uh, I, 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 I must make a confession, if I might. Will you allow me to confess just, just a little bit? Confession is good for the soul. I, I have followed your successful career, mm. and I am, I, am, I am honeymoon glad that you have been, found success uh, in your chosen endeavor. Okay. I have also noticed uh, <clears throat> that um, it does not appear in anywhere 
that I've seen that you have united with the house of God. Mm. So, and, and I know that you 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 love God and, and you're one of His children. And, right. and I just believe that, that as successful as you are, you'd be much more successful if you were c- contributing to the work and the spread of the gospel. Oh. And certainly, we would welcome you right here uh, to be. Uh, a contributor to the work that God is doing all, not just here, but all around the world. So please, uh, as, as the Bible says, don't let your finances be cursed because you do not tithe to the Lord. So please, um, uh, free your money up to do much, 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 much more by contributing to the work of the Lord. In right. This well, Pastor, be, be sure, just rest easy in knowing that I would be more than happy to make a 10% contribution on all of my uh, net worth to your congregation. Mm-hmm. Um, should, yeah, things, yeah. should things just be done fairly, decent and in order. Decent um, and in order. Yep, yep. And I know you're a big, you know, pusher of that. So, you know, just uh-huh. be sure that everything is decent and in order. And ten percent should definitely come your way. And and and, and it's, it's not for me; it's for the law. It's absolutely, for the law. absolutely. You know, however, it works out. God would expect you to honor Him, regardless of the results of the world. I don't know what's in it. Right, right. But I do know that, that that God is a fair God. Yes, He is. And and so because He's fair, everybody will get what's absolutely. coming to them. Amen. And I'm so sure he mean, wants his shepherd blessed as well. Well, and, and God bless you. you. know, if you don't bless the man of God, you, you, you can't be blessed. And, and so uh, the Bible is full of those stories. But um, but I will tell you, Sister Lily, that it's been much too long. And 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 I I look forward to me. Perhaps you and your daughter should come by sometime and just for me to lay eyes on the child. I, I oh. think she might be a grown woman now, but the yeah, eyes she's on top. a grown woman. You know, and 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 you no, know, maybe she had been baptized. Yet she might be baptized to a to a Bible believing church, like mm. the one we have here. And uh, we love to have you and your your baby girl as part of our our flock as we grow and and we push out into all corners of the world. You know, we believe in we believe in the Great Commission, go into right. all the corners of the world. Okay. Preaching and, and, and helping people reach God and giving back to the church at the Great Commission. I believe that. Amen. Amen, Pastor. I'm gonna pray for you, but you keep us lifted in prayer as well, okay? I will. I look so forward to seeing you. All right. Later. I'll see you later. God bless you, child. God bless you as well. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey, honey. Hi. How are you? I am great. I can't complain. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. So, so you know, I got some big stuff working, right? Like what? <sighs> Trying to make some connections, have some loose ends for overseas projects. And then I get a weird call today from, um, <laughs> what's her name again? Uh, Lillian Davenport. Ooh. I have not heard this name in a while. Hmm. Um, I know what my daddy told me about her proposal when, you know, they had a thing or whatever the case, whatever involvement or engagement. And uh, he shot it down clearly. Um, he shot it down in the most ruthless way. And now she pops up on the scene trying to propose the same deal as far as the same piece of property, talking about this is a time when you buy low and you do this and you do that. And I'm like, what is the forecast? Let me see some numbers. And she's talking about, I need to meet with you first. And, you know, I don't meet with nobody until I see numbers and run it past my legal team, you as the top person. So so she didn't have anything to show you? No, no numbers, no, no, no new buildings, perhaps, no. on the property? No. No explanation? Nope. Nothing. Just wanted me to set up a meeting with her because she said she don't send proposals before meetings. I'm like, okay, I respect how you move, but I don't move that way because I don't believe in wasting time nor money. So, Correct. Yeah. Correct. So I told her, give me an address. Um, I put a little extra in the escrow account. So I just need to do like maybe 20 minutes worth of research to let me know exactly the historics outside of what I may already have about this property. 
um, she said something about it's not gentrified yet. So I'm like, okay, so why you want to invest in it? Like, I don't understand, but um, I need more details before I even would think of considering a, a meeting with her. I feel like she has something else up her sleeve. My intuition just was firing. I'm I was sure she does, but I can definitely look into it and let you know by the end of the day. Okay, that'll work. Because that's an easy one. Okay, no problem. I will wire you, uh, is it 20 grand for 20 minutes? How much is your fee? It's actually 25. 25? Okay, no problem. Yes. I'll have my accountant send that to you within the next 10 minutes. Well, what you got? How you been, girl? I missed you. I've been well. It's good to see your face. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I have a few things that have been coming through the works. Hmm. Okay. And like myself. They're not all in line yet, so I don't really want to lay them out just yet. Okay. I'd like to have all my ducks in a row Thanks. before I start speaking on them. I got you. I got you. But I have gotten a little information um, that you might be interested in. Please tell. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. But very soon. Okay, would this take place before the reading of the official will? It might. I'm okay. thinking that um, I'm thinking that we would need that we would need a maybe a day before, two days prior. Okay. To really get into everything and lay it out. Yeah. Okay. All right, no this problem. I tell you what. How about you have text me the date and time. And then okay. I'll, and the location yeah, will make it work. Did your baby get that gift I sent her? She did. She's playing with it right now. <laughs> yes. And then handmade by um, an Indian sister. Oh, um, she wants to say hi. Hi, honey. Quickly. How are you? She's so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> she, she is. Yeah. I have uh, her in training as we speak. <laughs> awesome. You better. Because the world is evolving and we need bright minds, people that can think strategically and see truths in every matter. She needs yes. to be a replica of who you are. Yes, I'm doing my best. Yeah. I currently have her speaking three different languages. Woo! Damn. Yes. That's Still fun. working on them, but for the age, she's doing very well. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. Um, yeah, let's meet. The day yeah. before the meeting, because I'm really interested in what you have to say. Uh, oh, <laughs> a lot of people think I'm oblivious to things that are taking place within the family, like far as that dirt and this, that, and the third, but they fail to realize that my father was very honest with me. Um, okay. He told me things that he ached with, and I know what has pissed my mother off, which made me angry, too, because you know how much I love her. Um, but there's a woman by the name... Oh, what is her name? Vanderbilt. Yeah, okay. I've heard conversations. I know my dad said she may be an issue or something like that. Yes. Have you had any information, any intel about uh, Eleanor is yes. her first name. I do indeed know a few things about Miss Eleanor Van okay. Vanderbilt. Okay. Yes. You share that with me the day before? I will. Okay. I have a little information on her, along with a few other people um, involved Okay. at the moment. Okay. All right. So, but nothing that I would care to get into at the moment. Again, I want to get everything lined up. I get you. Make sure that everything's, everything's on the up and up before okay. discussing it with you. All right. No problem. Oh, I did send you a just because gift because you know how much I love you. Um, and this is why I keep you close. <laughs> I have some imported wine coming your way. I ordered a case. I figured you could use it at this this moment. Me and yes. Vivian, I've been sending her stuff too. She don't know what he delivers. I think she thinks it's coming from a boo. But I just <laughs> sent her like different types of wine because I have a, a venture in Paris that I'm. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. You'll have to travel there one day. Facts. I mean, we can check it out for me. ourselves. Let me know when you're free. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right after this. Right. <laughs> after we close this out. <laughs> Perfect timing. Absolutely. 
Absolutely, but I'm not gonna hold you long. I just wanted to run those names by you and see what you got. And I'll have my accountant send you the 25K within the next five minutes. Okay, and like um, I said, I'll get with you this evening and let you know where everything okay. stands on that part. Okay, cool beans. And then let me know the location, time, and place the day before the reading of the will. We'll meet up. We'll do we'll do. Okay. Excellent. Yes, thank you so much. You're most welcome. It was good. Have a good day. You too. Have All a right. great day. Take care. Bye. Bye. Hello. 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 Hi. Is this Vivian Wellington? Oh my God. Yes, it is. You know who you called. Oh, this is Lillianne Davenport, just to get you up to speed. I'm up How are you? Speed. I know who you are. I'm doing, oh. I was doing fine. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Matter of fact, I thought about you today when a script came across my desk. One of my directors at my studio said, you've got to see the script. And when I saw it, I thought immediately of you, Vivian. And I thought, wow, her fledgling acting career, uh, substandard roles that she's had in the past, this would help elevate your career. Don't get upset. I mean that as just a little jest. I know you're a great actress that just hasn't had the right opportunities lately. So I'd like to give you an opportunity. Would you like an opportunity? Viv, hello? Yes. Would you like an opportunity? <laughs> Hello? Did I lose you? Uh, I lost you, honey. That's your raggedy system. Oh, gosh. Ooh, ouch, ouch, ouch. You Wellingtons are just so low budget. Oh, oh. I, don't mean that in a, I don't mean that in a bad way. I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in the best of terms. A low oh. budget film, you are, you're, you're well aware of low budget films. This would be a blockbuster, though. It's about a dysfunctional family. <laughs> Middle sister is overshadowed by the younger sister. Something I think you could sink your teeth into. What do you oh, think? I, I don't think so, honey. I, I don't think I'll be able to relate to that. Mm. You know, uh, because as usual, <laughs> you're always pretending you're more than what you are, and you're pretending mm. that whatever you got going on is going to be a blockbuster. And Listen, heaven busted jealousy a has in no God place knows when. in our industry. Jealousy has no place in our industry. Please, it's just not good. It's a bad look on you. It's a bad look on anyone. And please, take off that fake fur. It just doesn't do you justice. Oh, well, tell your mm. husband I'll send it back. Ouch, 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 ouch. Yes, yeah, he, no. does, he does tend to get into the trash sometimes. He gets okay, into the yeah, trash honey. I And I say to him, from you. If, you, if you take out the trash, please don't bring in any more garbage. Oh, that's right, honey. Uh, <laughs> You're probably the reason why. On that note, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send over the script to you, and you can take a look at it, mm -hmm. and I think you can relate. And I'm going to end this call. How about that? No, no, no. How about that? See you later. No, no, no. No, no. No, no, no. See you later. Honey, I, oh, that heifer. That heifer, I need something from Lily like I need a hole in the head, like I need her husband between the thighs of mine, like I need an infectious boil on my behind. That's how much I need Lillian. That stinking heifer, I can't stand her. Hello, my dear. Hello, how are you? I'm doing wonderful with yourself. I'm doing fabulous. My, your eyes shine with the light. Mm, you're gorgeous. You are simply too merch. Like, stop it. Mm. <laughs> you know, that skin just blows. It's just wonderful. How's business going for you, by the way? Business is going extremely well. Mm. So well that it's on autopilot. And now I'm just here to just start some stuff. I see that you're in town. Uh, you know, nothing, nothing arrives in, arrives in this town without my uh, my approval. Uh, really. Well, according to some people, they have all eyes on me, as they should, and so they should have known I was here if yeah. they have eyes on me. But they weren't exactly prepared, were they? <laughs> well, she's yeah. It seems like she was a little blown away, but you know, I'll let her control the narrative. Mm. Did you tell her about the child? I did. I did. Of course, what do every wife do in these situations? Of course, this child is not my husband. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 
the same story, heard the melody before. So I just let her rant and rave. It's all good. It's all good. Well, mm -hmm. I know you're getting your things going. I sent some flowers to your hotel room. Just so ah, I saw the beautiful lilies. I'm so glad there's not those forsaken roses. I love lilies. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate it. You know, I try to uh, pay attention to the fact. Yeah, you do. You're very attentive. Thank you. I uh, just want to let you know that the deal is in motion. Oh, awesome. Do tell. Oh, well, you know, uh, Keita is, you know, <laughs> she thinks she didn't have any fun and I had to do a little bit of extra work just to, you know, okay. get her thing. But she disclosed some deals. We, I got $20 million out of it. And oh, awesome. I, I tipped her off a little bit about what's going on in Mongolia and some deals in there. She was trying to go ahead of time, but you I'm know, sure. You know, it's they're like, very aggressive. I give it to that family. They're smart. They're money hungry. They're aggressive. They will slit each other's wrists to get ahead. I tell you, and they take it in. They take the dress off too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. I've never heard of that analogy, but I like it. Yeah, but you know, we're gonna go there. But uh, I have some things for her. Why uh, we're gonna meet over in the Samoa. And I'm going to toss her a little things to make her feel important. Okay. It's well, they are important. Yeah, well, well, Didn't if, well, you know? For what we have, uh, for what we have, uh, definitely. But I don't want you to think that uh, my foray into closing these deals has anything to do with our plans. Okay. Well, thank you. I trust you. I appreciate it. I'm just tired of being painted as the villain. I, like, I forcefully made him do something he did not want to do. So I'm tired. I'm back. And I'm going to play this game. He came to you. And the thing is, is that your, you know, your business should be elevated just as well as the Wellingtons. And, you know, I didn't want to do it, but I, you know, shut down some of the investigations into the family. And especially what she don't know is that uh, Lady C's uh, charity foundation Mm -hmm. I'm not stopping anything with that. That investigation is going to go ahead and go. Okay. So All we're right. Going, we're going to let that ride off a little bit until after the reading of this will. When well, that's fine. It's going to be really off the chain. Well, I will be there. I don't know. Maybe I should come with a head wrap or a long, full lit wig and a big fur coat. I don't know what to do. I just want to blend in. Maybe I don't know, but mm -hmm. I'll have fun with them. Make sure you hey, make sure you come all van glorious, yeah, lady. You know, <laughs> wear the heels, and, you know. Pastor, you know, one thing may happen. Pastor may not be able to control himself. He sees those heels. <laughs> oh, geez, he would have the collection played out. I'm sure. Oh, oh gosh, things, you know, uh, you know, he got to get a little bit of a piece of everything and stuff. But, okay. how, but uh, everything else is going on. Your deals and everything's good. So I will be there. Just uh, I'll follow your lead, and I will be there. All right, no problem. You have a blessed day. You too. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.